Hello, today's our topic is creating of learning task in the problem-based learning. So this is very professional topic about the problem-based learning because it concerns how to initiate problem-based learning course in the educational organization, how to start investigating of the problem-based learning in your institution. And of course, uh, uh, let me start by saying that a problem-based learning educational approach significantly differs from the traditional educational approach. If in traditional education, traditional teacher challenges their learners, their students with traditional questions that are generated by teachers and delivered for learners to, to study, or even all teacher or lecturer encourages to deliver even all content to their learners. So you see that that in traditional education there are totally concentrated on the direct instruction of the learners, while in the problem-based learning the central figure of pedagogical person is facilitator, who encourages their learners in much more independent work and self-directed work. A facilitator encouraging their learners to work in groups and in teams to make discussions and brainstorming he or she encourages learning object definitions information search systemizing of information and reflection of information in the educational process so you see that in the problem-based learning process facilitator encourage much more and much more kind of learning activities comparing to the, to the traditional teacher that is focused only on the given certain questions and delivering certain content of the, of, the, of the teaching process. So the roles of traditional teacher and facilitator significantly differs. That's why uh, starting uh, preceding uh, the problem-based learning in the educational organization, a lot of things should be taken into account in order to prepare properly for the problem-based learning process at the certain level of education. So, in order to start problem-based learning, a uh, facilitator must do some preparatory work. For instance, a uh, facilitator must write a training program for problem-based learning, special training program, where they describe the learning modules, learning groups and teams procedures, uh, learning methods, and define problem areas and cases. Also, facilitator must uh, to do training schedule. He must create training schedule, define timing, implementation, conditions of the training program. Uh, they must define how many problems should be included into the module or semester studies. Also, they should prepare very qualitative case studies, triggers or problem situation, or even project tasks that could be solved in, in the process of problem-based learning by learners. Also, what is very important, a uh, facilitator should, should prepare problem-based learning cycle tasks. They should uh, define in very detailed manner how problem should be structuring. For instance, how a particular problem should be structured, what are the typologies of the problems. As I, I talked previously, that different kinds of problems have as different typology of the problem. It depends on a lot of factors. Also, facilitators must de describe and define information search methodology. How information sh should be sh searched in the process. Also, how strategies should be generated and how reflection, how learning reflection should be preceded in the process. Also, they should uh, pro provide some uh, individual and group reflection forms. So, in other ways saying, that uh, facilitators should uh, create learning portfolio for their learners, learning portfolio for problem-based learning course. And this portfolio, portfolio would include learning material 
for the particular semester or year. Learning material should include general description of the program, its semesters, aims of learning, objectives of learning, working methodologies, description of group-based and team-based learning formats and its implementation within the semesters, list of problem cases to solve, and problem-solving procedures in very detailed manner. Also, they should describe the learning roles in the teams or the groups, and also problem-solving procedures and reflection forms. So, as you see that this uh, uh, problem-based learning portfolio should be very detail, detailed and explicated in order it could be used in the problem-based learning process. It should include uh, many, many aspects of the problem solving itself, like problem structuring, information research, uh, strategy generation, reflection forms. Also, it should include very different conditions, how to implement collaborative work in, the, in groups, in teams, because they are very different cooperative formats of learning. So everything should be taken in, in, into the plan when you are planning to invest to do problem-based learning course in, in the process. For problem-based learning implementation, it's very recommended to use online learning platform, such as Microsoft Teams, Google Learning Packages, or Office, Office Learning Packages. Problem-based learning can be successfully implemented through the distant learning platform. If learning platform maintains chatting exchange of files, scheduling of learning time and exchange of various information conditions.